Welcome to King Said So, Africa's one land, one language, one currency, one army on King Said So. Africans can unite your Pan-Africanist podcast. Enjoy. If anything, if they, I wrote a letter mm. uh, through the Secretary General mm. to National mm. Director of Prosecution yeah. to prosecute Cyril. There was a case. There was an investigation on Busasa yeah. by a lead prosecutor mm. who went to make a presentation. No, during the presentation in one of the meetings of the NPA, mm. asked Financial Intelligence Center, mm. can you help me with this issue of uh, Busasa paying uh, Cyril's son money? Yeah. Uh, and when he was supposed to conclude his submission, Bato he said, "Stop it. Yeah, that is not for this kind of meeting. Yeah. We'll talk privately." And as a result, took the target away. Yeah, uh, from this guy. And then Zondo, with all his weaknesses, mm. said Gwede must be prosecuted. Yes, and Gwede doesn't deny that he got he swallowed cameras. Mm. That's why he walks like that stomach full of stolen cameras of Busasa. Mm. Noam Vula used to eat chickens every month, every every end of the every year. Christmas. Mm. Yeah, every Christmas. You know wh- wh- whose chickens are those? Are chickens for prisoners. It's food for prisoners. Mm. So Busasa, you got a tender to cook for prisoners. Mm. And then in December, they buy more. Then the supplies get to be given to the ANC politicians. Mm. So, majority of those ANC leaders, especially those ones of the Women's League, because Bosasa is a Women's League company. Project, it's like that yeah. thing we were calling Lembede Investment mm. in the Youth League. That's what Bosasa is. Yeah. So, most of those leaders of the Women's League, for sure, chickens are crying in their stomachs because of how they were eaten from correctional service centers. Mm. Tava Magueta says, after so many years, I'm still waiting for invoice. Mm. What a stupid lie is that? Then, all of these people, they, they say, prosecute them. Nothing. They are not prosecuted. If you why, go, why do you think that's the case? Because it looks like Badoi is not living up to expectations. I've just had uh, Gwede Mandashe here saying, part of what they, are, they were trying to do over the last five years was to strengthen independent institutions mm-hmm. so that those are the institutions that then would prosecute. Mm-hmm. So it's not expected of them to prosecute themselves. I think uh, that's in summary that's what you were saying. You know why Badoi was taken there? Badoi was taken there to go and squash the case of Van Lochenberg of SARS, mm. of uh, that unit uh, they used to have at SARS. Mm. Remember, F- uh, Van Lochenberg was already charged, mm. and then the trial was running. In the middle of the trial, Batui gets appointed. The first thing she does, she drops charges in the middle. Once you are there, it's no longer up to prosecution. The judge must make a decision yeah. about that. She was deployed there for that purpose, and she served the purpose, and that was Bravin's deployment. So, we, are you saying we must, we must, we must forget about a NPA prosecuting any of these guys who's been fingered, even by the State Capture Commission? Okay, my brother, you are a journalist, and the good thing I like about you is that you are a professor of UNISA, you are in Pretoria. Make time to go and talk to prosecutors in the NPA. Mm. They will tell you how they've got so much evidence. I don't know how to, this to one... To prosecute? Yes. I don't know how this one survived of no civil. Mm. But by look of things, you can see they've been trying by all means to squash it. Mm. The ANC Veterans League, that tells us every day about corrupt people and how corrupt people must be removed. Today, they praise no civil for resigning but she's got integrity and she embarrasses them she says no i didn't just resign there is this woman called pemima jodina yeah who's pursuing me mm. and wanted me to be charged so that i can i can i can step aside mm. so you can hear that it was not about integrity she was pushed out by my jodina's whatsapp group yeah so a lot of guys a lot of guys will be prosecuted and they will be prosecuted successfully if Batoi was well, allowing the prosecutors yeah, to but do their work. Be removed. So, yes. again, imagine the EFF government will have to have a new NPA head. Absolutely. And you need 
an independent mm. um, prosecuting authority. Yeah. You need independent judiciary. You need infrastructural development. Yeah. That's what grows the economy. It's not those things of whether the land is owned by the state or not. I had a friend, China yeah. owns its own land. I had a it's friend dialogue with your countries. deputy in Durban yes. recently, and I asked him, is he irritated by a constant reference to the fact that the EFF may not be better when it comes to dealing with corruption when it does ascend, given the VBS, whatever you may say or, or not say about the VBS, etc. And, and, and that was just after the parliamentary committee, yeah. the ethics committee said to him, sorry, we are, we are dealing with you. And I said to him, but has the EFF dealt with you similarly? Can you just deal with that once and for all? I mean, would the EFF government be less corrupt by, 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 by virtue just of being opposed to the current corrupt ones? The EFF government... It's not corrupt in a For so many months they've been in mm. power, you never arrested or accused any of them about any wrongdoing. Mm. The EFF government is not corrupt in Johannesburg. You've got MMC of uh, public safety and health. Our MMC in Eteguin was removed for being in the forefront of service delivery. Mm. It's not corrupt. We've got two MMCs in Nelson Mandela Bay yeah. There's no corruption. The VBS was engineered yeah. to discredit the EFF. That's what I'm saying. There's always splitting of hairs. Yeah. To discredit the EFF by Praveen and them and uh, uh, Terry. Terry is still to apologize. This will haunt him to his grave. He must come and confess that he was used by Praveen, the whole senior cancer, mm. to tarnish the good image of the EFF. Yeah. People are arrested, my brother. Why do you keep on hammering on this point? The EFF has been fighting Ramaphosa. Yeah. The EFF is fighting Zondo that he was not properly appointed. The EFF is fighting Batoi. The yeah. EFF is fighting Nozi Viwe. Yeah. These people are a problem. Mm. And we have this evidence and we are the state. Why are you not acting on them? There are people who, there's already a white man, a former CFO of VBS who's in jail. Mm. What stops these people from prosecuting Malema and Shibambo yeah. if they've got evidence that these people were engaged in wrongdoing? Yeah. I've got no power. I can't stop any prosecutor. I can't uh, dictate to any powers that be yeah. that you can't charge me or you can charge me. I've so your government will be intolerant of corruption? It is intolerant now. It will be in future, even internally in the EFF. Yeah. Look at how we run our affairs. We run them professionally. We pay our salaries. We bought a building at the city center in less than 10 years. Parties have been here for centuries. Yeah. They don't pay salaries. They don't own a property. How will you pay salaries? How will you own property? We even own a farm where we're going to build a school. Yeah, tell me about that school, by the way. You have been, been talking on social media. You say, where's this school? You said people mustn't vote for you. If your school is not there in five years... Just deal with that big the, the, the school is there. The farm has been bought. Yeah. The plans have been approved. Yeah. Material, no, the plans have been drawn. Yeah. Material is ready. There are professionals uh, uh, yeah. who are working. So when will the school be ready? No, wait. Then that Mogali city yeah. is not approving the plans. They say it's an agricultural land. <laughs> we have to now, <laughs> what do you call it? Rezone, rezone, yeah. The thing. And then when we are about to rezone the thing, those Africaners there in Mahalisbeg yeah. are objecting yeah. uh, to the rezoning of agriculture. But you still insist it will happen? It's going to happen. Yeah. Because it's the powers that be which are blocking it. Yeah. It, it will happen. It's happening now. And remember, in that five years, we've got two years that were not functional. Of COVID, mm. we are now three years in office effectively, mm. but still we did all manner of things. There's nothing. There's no one who asked us for a school. We have no obligation to build a school. Mm. We chose to do that. Yeah, we took a decision to do it. Yeah. So why do you talk like it was in an EFF manifesto? It's not a manifesto. Yeah, it's a Congress resolution. It's an internal EFF yeah. and it's still issue. going to happen. It will happen. There's nothing that I yeah. said to you will happen and never come to pass. Except the, uh, the total shutdown of the grid. You did say it will be shut down in two weeks. Well, you know that <laughs> these yeah. guys 
when they were supposed to do what they were supposed to do, yeah. they were not doing it. When I said there will be a total shutdown of the grid, yeah. I was waking them up yeah. and they knew that this is real. We now have to intervene. That's why I told you that time. Yeah. These guys met with the CIA and CIA told them, if you don't do what you have to do, yeah. this thing is going to collapse. And once this thing collapses, we're out. So you think Ramukopa did a good job? I mean, it, 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 it's not him. That thing yeah. is a public relations. Ramukopa has got no capacity, none whatsoever, to do anything good. If you doubt, go and ask the residents of Swan. Mm. This DA is presiding over a rotten Swan, and mm. with action, they say we're blaming them. Mm. But they inherited it yeah. from Ramukopa. So there's nothing. Ram, Ram Opa, it's a it's a fashionista who who thinks he dresses smart and wants to appear on TV, uh, and and I don't know what else does he do. The guy messed up. Swani, Swani became the home of slave queens mm. under Ram Opa and that guy who died was a speaker. Mm. If you go to the office of the speaker today in Swan and find the slave queens that are there. Hired by these two. But those people exist for for fame, for likes, for, for for niceties. They don't exist to change the lives of our people. That's why yeah. is, it going fair, is it fair though to, to judge his job as electricity minister uh, 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 against his failure at, 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 at Swan? I mean, no, I'm no, just talking I'm, about I'm now. I'm judging his job now. Yeah. He's earning a salary, but the lights are still off. The lights are off. What will Unless EFF, you are saying to me, a uh, load shedding is a what result. Will, what will EFF do differently? If you are to, to be in office tomorrow and you have to replace Ramokupa with whoever it is that's mm -hmm. clever, right? Mm -hmm. What will you do and how quickly? Well, what we are going to do is to ensure that there is a, a mixed energy, energy source. Yeah. Maintain the existing coal power stations. Yeah. Make sure they are functional optimally mm. and get the best engineers to do the job yeah. and ensure that those who don't do their job and are corrupt are removed from responsibilities. Yeah. That's the immediate thing you can do. So you need to maintain the coal power stations, yeah. use them optimally and ensure that when you service this power station, yeah. you have generated enough megawatts yeah. to can afford to shut this one down and be able to use the reserves that you have. Yeah. By the time this maintenance finishes, yeah. if the megawatts are low, you open this Why other do you think they can't resource. do that now? I mean, it's corruption. They, if appointed a good CEO, I think. I mean, no, there's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a very good guy. I yeah. know him. I grew up with that guy. Yeah. We were together mm. in the ANC. One of the most ethical people mm. that I think will do the job. Yeah. But he's surrounded by, he's surrounded yeah. by highness. Sure. And uh, very soon they will destroy him. Uh, because that's what they do. A good, disciplined person doesn't get rewarded in the ANC government. Do, they reward do you think the that trust. they appointed him deliberately no, just was, before an election? No, 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 no. They had no option this time because there was an internal revolt even amongst them. Mm. You brought a white male incompetent mm. and therefore we're not going to overlook mm. the African who's competent, who's got the necessary mm. expertise to mm. be here. So their province didn't have his way. Mm. And and they were prepared to revolt against that. Mm. So it was not because of their choice. Yeah. Uh, everybody was now saying enough is enough now. Yeah. So we need to use gas. Mm. We need to source gas. There are a lot of things that we should take over. So we need to switch over. Yeah. Uh, uh, for instance, why should they be cooking with the electricity uh, stove? when there is e e efficient gas stoves. Mm -hmm. uh, why should they be heating of water through electric geysers? There are so many things we can switch into gas yeah. and save a lot of electricity. That's a policy and, issue and, 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 and something that the, the public themselves can stay taking up. Um, uh, you know, for example, the issue about subsidy on solar. I mean, do, do, do they have Absolutely. That? Just subsidize solar. That's to why I people. say to you, you need... A mixed source of energy. Yeah, you cannot rely on one. You have to find solar, uh, you have to find wind, you have to use uh, coal as your base. Yeah, you can't shut down coal. You can't say to me, shut down this coal power station. 
that gives me 1,000 megawatts. And then there is no alternative clean green energy that gives me 1,000 megawatts. I will never shut it down. And that money that Cyril went to take and said, we'll shut down our coal power stations, yeah. you will see how he pays them. Because we will not shut down our electricity for a non-existing yeah, we alternative. We need a full conversation about yes. about electricity on a different on a different dialogue. But mm-hmm. I've got limited time, and I want to deal sure. with a few more political issues. Mm-hmm. Let's quickly deal with coalitions. Yes, and you can use Ekurulene as an example. Yeah. Do you think do you have hope? that should the NC fall below 50%, that we can have a decent conversation that can result in a coalition government that can actually function. Do you know we had a functional government here in Johannesburg when the EFF put a mayor called Herman Mashaba to the <laughs> DA? Yeah. It was working so well, mm. delivering so well. Mm. Mashaba was doing everything we said to him must do. Mm. Mashaba didn't know Elias Mutuale, the squad camp, was taken by the EFF there. Mm. Those toilets he provided was us. Mashaba didn't know Alexander. He stays here. He didn't know Alexander. He came, was brought here by the EFF to do cleanup campaign. Yeah. Yeah. So we, and we were not in government. Yeah. We just said, guys, do this thing. Yeah. We're going to support you. How can a capitalist of note say we must insource? Uh, security guards. We insourced the security guards here. Mm. Mashama, if he was implementing a DA policy, yeah. in which DA policy was they insourcing of, of cleaners and security guards? So, we are not driven by ego. What makes the coalition to fail yeah. is not because people can't work together. Yeah. It's because the so-called bigger parties yeah. are driven by egos and want to dictate as if they won elections when they've not won elections. The first mm. thing you need to do when you don't get 50%, you must know that anything is possible. Yeah. You know you're from Teflop. People used to lead SRC yeah. as president coming from SCO. Yeah. Or, or uh, some guy is popular, uh, he's an independent, he's coaching netball. Yeah. And from there he gets elected <laughs> as number one and then Sasko just needs one vote. Yeah. There's a guy who became a president of SRC in Teflu yeah. called Bafana. Yeah. His popularity was netball. One vote. That guy said, no, I must be a president. Yeah. And we made him a president, but took everything. Because the ANC and the DA can't differentiate between power and the glory. Mm. That's why the EFF was able to say in Ikurlen, well, put this mayor, we don't mind, we don't care. Yeah. But we need f- five MMCs. Why? We knew that's where the power is. Yeah. The mayor must cut ribbons. But whose ribbons, which, whose projects is the mayor going to cut ribbons for? It's our projects. We decide where this thing goes. Yeah. So the ANC can't differentiate, and a lot of people can't mm. differentiate between power and the glory. I'm prepared to give the EFF vote to the ANC. Mm. Nationally, if he doesn't get, if he doesn't get yeah. 50%. And you don't need the glory of being a deputy president. No, I don't need that. Yeah. Then I will I'll make one demand. Make Floyd Shibambo Minister of, of Finance. Finance. Yeah. That's all. I think they're going to refuse that. Once we take that finance, because that's where the problem is, and the president, Ramaphosa, knows that. Yeah. The problem in this country is the fina- Department of Finance mm. that is owned and controlled by Stellenbosch mm. and which engages in anti-poor policies. Mm. You need a radical. And it is so disappointing that a guy like Maso, David Masondo, who, by the way, taught us these things that we are talking about, yeah. goes there and the next thing is counted in dinners with the Rupets and them. Because we thought with the introduction of that guy, yeah. That thing is going to be radicalized. You don't think he can be, be the next the minister of finance if the NC was in total I, power? I will not support him. Can, they can decide. I don't care who they decide. It's their own thing. Yeah. But I'm saying to you, if I've got this power, yeah. that I can influence which decision. Yeah. 
I am not obsessed with being president or deputy president. You know that conversations are taking place. I can outsign a president yeah. if you make me a minister of sports, arts, and culture. That's probably why they you will think I will be. I'm a That's president. That's probably the, what, the, why they're nervous. Don't you think so? That they're, they're not they're, nervous. Part of the conversations in the NC about coalescing with the EFF is more about personality that they can't stand to 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 to, to, to imagine you as deputy president of a country. It, it's, it, you see, my my problem yeah. and what is going to kill me. Mm. It's a generational jealousy and envy. Mm. And not from anyone, from the people I grew up with. Mm. From the people I supported. They are the ones who are like, no, it's not going to happen. Yeah. So I, I don't care about generational jealousy. Yeah. I can die and uh, five times and still wake up. I will still find them where they are. Mm. Round, round off my conversation with that. The, uh, the LGBTQ plus community, <laughs> EFF is their home. Yeah. They know that. And uh, they know that the EFF has always advocated for their rights. Yeah. We were the only organization <laughs> that marched to Uganda to fight for LGBTQ plus communities' rights in Uganda. Yeah. <laughs> then we went to the uh, UCT to have a, a, a lecture. Yeah. Uh, with a uh, prof Lumumba. Lumumba and you are lambasted for that because uh, and he, no we're because not he, la- it, we're not lambasted yeah. we're not lambasted it was manufactured manufactured outcry <laughs> by that uh, uh, constitutional expert from UCT yeah who did not organize any protest yeah against Museveni yeah Museveni who signed this into law yeah you are marching against the person who says I support this <laughs> but the person who enacted this it's not the was, here, against was yeah. here in South Africa yeah and nobody marched much. against him yeah. only the EFF which other president have you ever seen wearing the rainbow flag in all of these political parties except the president of the EFF this is the home of everyone black yeah. white Indian colored uh, in all forms of gender, yeah. they are more than welcome into this organization. We don't judge people on the basis of their appearance. We judge people on the basis of their ideological orientation and the support for the working class. That's yeah. all. A lot of people uh, uh, lambasting you for changing your views on Judge Tobe, uh, uh, you know, four or five years down the line. Mm. Just deal with that once and for all. No, no, no. I didn't change any views about Judge Klopp. Yeah. I'm saying to you, yeah. I, I can disagree with you, my brother, yeah. too much. Me and you disagreed a Many lot. Times. Yeah. And we're not far apart now. Yeah. And then it doesn't make you a flip-flopper. Yeah. You got exposed to certain things and appreciation <laughs> and we're like, okay, but it looks like there can be something out of this, yeah. people. So explain so, the Klopp. So Klopp yeah. was... was treated unfairly, despite whatever I said about him. Yeah. He didn't deserve that kind of punishment. Yeah. I, I disagreed with him, but you can't say a judge who says we're relying on you guys yeah. and you say that's an impeachable, impeachable yeah. offense. I did not disagree with Judge Tropper for Judge Tropper to die. Yeah. No, I'm going to disagree with a lot of people yeah. uh, politically. Uh, but when you unfairly treat them, yeah. I will never agree with that. I will defend your right, my brother, to disagree with me. Yeah. But I'm not going to allow someone to violate you yeah. because I disagree with you. Absolutely, absolutely. Is there, is there a caller? I, 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 go, go ahead. Hello. Oh, good, good evening. Go ahead. What's your question? Uh, I don't have a question rather to compliment the CIC. Uh, my name is Apel from KZN, a uh, comrade, a fighter. I wanted to, con- to compliment the CIC. Indeed, we are going to deliver you, and we are very happy 
to have a president like you. Thank you very much, sir. You have encouraged a lot. Continue to do a good job. And yeah, that's all I can say. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think that will Thank be a good, much. good note to leave it on. So, yeah. union buildings, you are marching in. We have started marching to union building that day when we're celebrating 10 years anniversary yeah. of the EFF. Yeah. That's where it was made very clear yeah. that this organization has grown so much and is prepared to lead uh, this country. So you have kept me here for too long. I'm going to dinner of Tibo Taj. It's his birthday today. Oh, is that so? Do, do, yeah. do pass my greetings so to I him. So I was supposed to be there by <laughs> 7 o'clock. So. But thank you very much for yeah, your time. Thank I really you. appreciate no, no. you. All the best with the remaining thank time you. towards thank the 29th of May. Thank you. It's thank always you. nice to talk to you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank uh, you. That's the CIC of the EFF, Julius Malema, here on the Frank Dialogue on your radio. That was our election festival. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we hope that uh, uh, we will be able to do one...